as far as the looks of Apoots are concerned. Now, ahead of the announcement of the dates of the Lok Sabha polls, deployment of paramilitary forces has already begun and officials told CNN News 18 that the initial deployment is scheduled for March 1st and March 7th. So this is the big update that is coming in uh, with regard to the Lok Sabha polls. Ahead of the announcement of the dates of the Lok Sabha polls, deployment of paramilitary forces has already begun. CNN News 18's Arunima is joining us with more details on this. Arunima, can you give us more details about the deployment of paramilitary forces uh, for the Lok Sabha polls? Commission in its communication to Ministry of Home Affairs has sought about 3,20,000 paramilitary personnel on ground to conduct the elections. This is about 20,000 more than what they had sought in 2019. In 2019, it was a seven-phase election and about 3 lakh uh, paramilitary personnel had been uh, you know, on ground duty. This time around, the figure is a little higher and we are told that on 1st of March, which is today and 7th of March, um, already deployment will begin. Paramilitary forces have started moving. 430 companies of BSF, about 500 companies of CRPF, 155 companies of CISF, uh, companies from ITDP, SSB, uh, Railway Protection Force, they're all starting to move now and uh, they have a rough idea as far as which are the states where the maximum deployment will be required. So West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir have figured as the top two states where maximum forces will be needed on the ground. Jammu and Kashmir, A, because there is also obviously a terrorism-related problem there. B, it is also being speculated if Lok Sabha and Assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir will happen simultaneously. There's a Supreme Court order which says that in JNK, by 30th of September, you must hold elections. So that's being speculated. So more than 600 companies will go to Jammu and Kashmir. In West Bengal also, the numbers are as much or could be higher. Close to 900 companies is, is what is being said for West Bengal. We are seeing the kind of violence uh, that, that is happening in Bengal. Sandesh Khali is the latest uh, you know, flashpoint between the BJP and the TMC. So in that backdrop, perhaps, comes the request that if elections are to be conducted in West Bengal, you need maximum central forces on the ground so that people can come out and vote without any fear. There are allegations against the West Bengal police. That perhaps is the reason why central forces are being sent in maximum numbers to West Bengal. Also, uh, Arunima, apart from Jammu and Kashmir and West Bengal, which other states also require a high number of uh, paramilitary forces? See, there are other states which are also seeing assembly elections simultaneously. So, Odisha, Sikkim, Andhra Pradesh, these are, uh, you know, these are states where you would see perhaps uh, adequate deployment because, uh, you know, assembly and Lok Sabha polls will happen around the same time. Um, the other, other states, UP, big state, Madhya Pradesh, a big state. Um, so, they'll have phase-wise elections. Multiple phases will... will uh, CUP, MP vote, uh, Rajasthan also again a big state. So these big states, you will see more deployment. Essentially what is happening at this stage is sending in people, Chhattisgarh again, area domination is required. There's already a lot of paramilitary forces in Chhattisgarh. But election season, when poll parties start moving, campaigns start happening, we saw what happened in Chhattisgarh when Darba Ghati massacre happened, entire state leadership of Congress was killed by the Naxals. Then last elections also a BJP candidate, a BJP sitting MP um, was gunned down. So Chhattisgarh-like states require area domination. So the forces which are moving now are for area domination to get, to get familiarity with the area. And eventually when the election commission announces the date to ensure that people feel confident to come out and cast their franchise. All right, Arunima, thank you so much for all those details.